the Russians, uh, as the U.S. senior uh, members of the U.S. government confirmed, have been hacking into Democratic accounts, and now they've hacked into my account. They put out uh, documents that are purported to be from my account. I don't think we can dignify documents dumped by WikiLeaks and just assume that they're all accurate and true. Anybody who hacks in to get documents is uh, completely capable of manipulating them. So we have two Hillary Clintons, which says we have a person who's a liar, uh, because that's what she is. Some of the sound from the Sunday shows this morning. Uh, Farron Balance joining us now from the spin room here at Washington University is Democratic National Committee Interim Chairwoman Donna Brazil. Donna, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure to hear your voice and to see you. Don, I want to start with something that hasn't broken through a lot. It got talked about a little bit today. I saw you on ABC, and that is this WikiLeaks story and the emails that are coming from it and what's inside them. Um, you can't confirm that she gave these speeches to these firms? Well, first of all, as you well know, uh, Brett, early this year, the Democratic National Committee announced that we were the victims of a cybercrime. And while many in the media uh, spent their entire focus on the contents of the emails that were released, uh, and in some cases releasing personal uh, identifying information uh, of private individuals, uh, our job at the Democratic National Committee is to ensure that we protect uh, not just the personal uh, identifying information, but we protect the sanctity uh, of our electoral process. So with regards to this latest uh, round of emails that were dropped, whether it's Colin Powell, whether it's John Podesta, or Donna Brazil, or, D or Bernie, here's my, here's my view. If it's postmarked from Russia, which is what we believe it is, and the United States government confirmed that on Friday, I'm not in the business of opening it up to corrupt our system any further with the spyware, the malware, and the disinformation that they're spreading. We have a process by yeah. which well, we you can know, Donna, review all of these documents without, without corrupting them. This is very important because, again, I want to get to the, what we were the victims of a cyber crime. It is, it, is a, it, is, it is very, very important that everyone understand that the Democratic Party, this yeah. is not about partisanship. This is about country. And we want to protect, we no, want to protect the personal understood information about the that's, Russian being, part of it. that's Donna, being destroyed. Let me interrupt for a second. Let me interrupt, because if you want to clear the air about what is accurate and what is not, why not put out the transcripts of those speeches to those different firms? Why not? Look, look first of all, we, here we go. The reason why we know that Secretary Clinton uh, gave these speeches in the first place is because she released information, because she released her taxes. When Donald Trump is so able to release his taxes, right, and this is no quid pro quo, look, put out, look, put out, put out, the, put out his, his uh, federal tax records to see what is his business dealings with Russia. Oh, but I, I know that that see, issue if he's is a big issue. If he stifts individuals. But, but, but so you know are the, these transcripts. I, I'm the if you're I'm saying the, they're, the they're false the, in hey, the look, emails... Brett. I'm the chair of the Democrat. I'm, I'm the chair of the Democratic National Committee. I'm not about to open up any emails uh, that, are, that that's postmarked from Russia. You open them up. You sure, corrupt, but somebody has system, the transcripts, corrupt, right? You have, you have misinformation. You have misinformation. I get it. And you know we have. But a somebody has the transcripts of the firm. That. Yeah, I know. But somebody has you know, the transcripts during, from during, these speeches. During, during, you could put them out, right? I, you know, I, I am not familiar with who has what. I, I'm, I, I'm familiar with what the Democratic National Committee is doing. I'm familiar with the, the cyber uh, crime that we were victims of, along with uh, many other Democratic institutions and other Americans. And so okay. that's my focus. We have 30 days in which to right. talk to the American people about the important issues facing this country. And let me just say something about private Donna, I know, I know you don't want to. I, I know you don't want to answer whatever, that question. Whatever, so let's whatever. turn. Let me ask you something else. Let me ask. You something I, I else, answered the question, Boo. What you is Hillary to open Clinton? And, no, no, no. But about the, about the transcripts. Let's turn. What does Hillary Clinton need to do tonight? Is she going to be on the aggression? Is she going to be aggressive against Donald Trump about this tape, or is she going to kind of let stay back and see what Donald Trump does? What's the strategy? As you know, tonight town hall format is designed to allow Secretary Clinton uh, to talk directly to the American people. These are voters who still have questions in the fact that they're undecided. She's, she will tonight give them concrete answers, solutions on how she plans to uh, deal with everything from ISIS to the economy to student debt, income inequality, and climate change. And given the destruction of Hurricane Matthew, it, it, it's important. 
important to hear from a candidate who has common sense solution and not somebody with a bunch of slew, uh, what I call lewd and crude remarks. Donald Trump should come in here with contrition. He should come in here saying, I'm sorry. You have more Republicans today fighting against Donald Trump than you have Democrats because Donald Trump has managed to insult not just Republicans, but the entire country. Donna, last thing. Uh, Donald Trump did tweet out today uh, interviews with some of the accusers of former President Bill Clinton, including Juanita Broderick, uh, who accuses the former president of raping her. Um, what's your reaction to that, and, and would do you think Donald Trump go down that road? First of all, I'm not running Donald Trump campaign, uh, but I will tell you this. Again, I talked about contrition. I also think that Donald Trump should be very, very careful uh, about treading down this, this what I call slippery uh, slope to the cesspool. Uh, when that situation occurred, when, when President Clinton, uh, you know, and, and, and the First Lady, uh, Mrs. Clinton suffered, Chelsea suffered, uh, the president was held accountable. I think it's unfair for Donald Trump to try to in any way insinuate and he knows he, he knows Hillary Clinton he knows Bill Clinton um, but it's un unfair for him to insinuate the kind of garbage that he might insinuate I think that will hurt him I think that will cause more Republicans to disavow him and disown him uh, but if he wants to bring it on that way because that's what he's been doing over the last 18 months of his candidacy there's a direct line between what Trump said in 2005 and what he said in 2015 and 2016 and I think tonight the American people will find out he's morally unfit to be president of the United United States if he goes down that road. Donna Brazil, we appreciate your time. We're sorry for the delay there back and forth. Next time we'll be on the same set. Thanks for being here. No, boo boo. We, and next time, don't bring me no emails unless you have cleaned your, your system, okay? Don't bring down corrupting to me. <laughs> but you and I can always have right, a decent conversation. And, you know, I, I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, sir. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks.